And so right now I'm looking at Gapminder World. This is a tremendous source of statistics as well as tools for looking at statistics. Many of the world's databases are tied into Gapminder World and you can actually uh, create charts yourself from all of the data that's there. Gapminder also provides this tool that lets you look at the statistics as the years pass. And so uh, it's actually quite a bit more powerful than just simply, for example, putting in a regression curve. As you can see, the geographic regions are coded. When you over mouse over one of the data points, it actually tells you which country uh, makes up that data point and indicates where it is. On top of that, the size of the data point correlates with the size of the country. And so here's my big question I want you to think about because this is an example of a regression line. And if you looked at it, if you looked at the R of this regression line, it would be positive because it points up to the right. And uh, it would be getting pretty close to one. Now the interesting thing, and this is your question, this is income per person across the bottom. And so this is the best measure of wealth you can come up with. This is a linear scale and so you're not looking at a logarithmic one which is your other option and this is uh, new cases of breast cancer per 100,000 women and as you can see from the background this is 1985 this is a powerful relationship income and breast cancer are closely correlated with a very strong R value so my question for you is this does money cause breast cancer? And so the more money you have, is it the money that's causing breast cancer? In other words, is this a causal relationship between income and breast cancer? Does the money actually cause the breast cancer? So it's a very important question. And if you can make an answer using other statistics from Gapminder, that would be fantastic.